Christopher Lovejoy is an enigma. Exciting, 100%, but an enigma all the same. This week he fights Manuel Char. Let's look into it. This is probably the most interesting fight of the year, 100% no doubt. The enigma that is Christopher Lovejoy versus the mystery that is Manuel Char. He's held the WBA interim heavyweight title from 2017 to 2021, and in that time he's had, well, pretty much zero fights. This guy has been completely missing. And in all fairness to him, the story of Manuel Char is quite sad. From what I'm seeing, he had an altercation at a restaurant or some kind of kebab shop, and it led to him getting shot. And as a result of that, he underwent double hip surgery. So that's the reason he's been out of the game for so long. But even still, this really is a question of whether Manuel Char can still do this. Let's be fair to him. He's had some decent fights on his record. Alexander Povetkin, Alexander Ustinov, Danny Williams, some of us UK fans will remember, and lastly, probably the biggest name on his list, Vitaly Klitschko. For the most part, he's always come up short against the bigger names, and surgery as well. Can he do it? Can he come back? But I argue this is probably the perfect fighter to come back to. Christopher Lovejoy. Now, I follow Christopher Lovejoy on all social platforms because I find him so interesting. If you go on YouTube, there's very little footage of Christopher Lovejoy fighting. The stuff that we do see, it's on some shaky found footage hidden cam and you just don't know what he's all about. He was meant to fight David Allen, but there were some contractual issues with Eddie Hearn and Don King and that means that he couldn't fight Dave Allen. That was a fight that I was looking forward to. It was probably one of the most exciting fights on the bill because this unknown American heavyweight who's broke into the WBA rankings is going up against Dave Allen, who just like Manuel Char has come up short against bigger opponents, but always brings entertainment. Anytime Dave Allen fights, we watch as British fans. And I think Dave Allen would have been perfect for Christopher Lovejoy. He would have gave us the answers we needed on him. You gotta remember, there's no amateur experience with Christopher Lovejoy. His experience has been from the 20 fights that he's won in Mexico, or wherever else he's fought. Now he's going to the big time. This is it. This is technically his professional debut, if you wanna call it that and his professional debut is against a former interim heavyweight who has fought some of the best of the best. And, and this is such an important fight for both fighters. They're both at the tail end of their career now. Christopher Lovejoy, I believe he's 38 or even 39, not too sure. Again, not that much detail on Christopher Lovejoy. I watched a video on YouTube where Eddie Hearn turned around and gave a list of names that Christopher Lovejoy could fight. All really big names. All will gear him towards that big opportunity for a heavyweight title. Who knows? This could be the fight that America's been waiting for. Or it could be a complete opposite and we've been duped. We're not gonna know until the fight happens this Saturday. I'm genuinely looking forward to it. And for Manuel Char, this will be a test for him. He's going against a fighter that he probably knows nothing about. He hasn't fought in a few years. He's still got rust on him. Can he shake it off? Is this the perfect opponent to do this against? It's a brave move because like I said, Chris Lovejoy could either be brilliant or we've all been kind. And if this risk doesn't pay off, that's the end of Manuel Char. The other side of that is if it does pay off, that's the end for Christopher Lovejoy. And that's a shame, because actually I really want to see him fight Dave Allen. That's the next fight for him. It has to be. There was all this talk about him fighting Dave Allen. They were talking the most on Instagram. I just want to get that chapter of boxing history closed so we can see what he's about. And you know what, on reflection, I do actually feel a little bit sorry for Christopher Lovejoy. The unknown that surrounds him is either A, really dangerous for opponents because they go, hey, he's never been beaten, this guy could be serious, or he's not taken seriously and that's why he doesn't get fights. It's a kind of a lose-lose situation for him. So I'm glad he's finally getting the opportunity to prove himself. I just hope he takes it. But anyway, what's your thoughts on this fight? What's your predictions? Let me know in the comments below because I'm interested in what you guys think about this. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you're helping me out massively. Take care guys. Peace.